You are watching William Patterson University Television. Hello and welcome back to our 11th annual Braveathon. I'm CJ Von Essen from WPTV's And Scene. And I'm Alec Rowan from WPTV's Press Start. If you have a passion for radio, music, news, or entertainment in general, we want you. Stop by Brave New Radio and WPTV to see what's up and how you can get involved. We're always looking for new faces. This portion of our broadcast is sponsored by Fry Guys, American Heroes Smokehouse and Barbecue, veteran owned and operated. They get 15% off for students, Manhattan Bagel and Addiction Tattoo. A huge thank you to them. Please welcome our next performer, New York's newest dark pop artist, Holden. And I still blame myself Fill me with gasoline Let it run through my veins Boy, it out like you can't wait to watch me go up and down Mind is always racing me It's racing and racing me I'll never learn, never learn Bottles in the place of you My veins, they have a trace of you But I'll never learn Stand back and watch me Me fade away. Mind is always racing you, it's racing and racing you, but I'll never learn, never learn. Kissing bottles in the place of you, my veins, they have a choice of you, but I'll never learn. Stand back and watch me. Next song is called Civil War. Give me something to believe in 
This song's called Ashes. It's about tea, eating Chinese takeout in your bedroom. Been faded. Now it seems we've traded how we felt and how we feel about this thing. Stupid and consistent love that seems to play a part of how we always find ourselves out on the brink. Now you're gone and changed it how we've always operated. Quite sure what I should think. Decisions aren't mine to make, but I will fight for goodness sake. Come on, baby, sit in a train. At the top, we can shine a light, and through the lows, we can make this right. Ignite the past like a book of matches, and we will rise. We from the ashes on the jump.
This next one's called Fine. It's my brand new single. I just put it out everywhere. You listen to music. It's talking in my head again. I got the message. When my demons plead, and the outsides get me. Try to look me in the eyes and say I need a blessing. But I say that I'm okay and I not want to mess with you. Why you trying to play these games with me? Cause I got something hiding underneath They tell me just to pay, it's what I need But you'll never find me falling to my knees Don't go the doctor, I'm doing fine I got my own prescription, whiskey and wine Let me So why the hell I feel so wrong? Why do we go right and fade away from home? Still I'm faded, still I'm wasted, still I'm You'll never find me falling to my knees Don't go the doctor, I'm doing fine I got my own prescription, whiskey and wine Let me give a demonstration of what's on my mind Picture every color tone in black and white Throwing roses out my veins, the petals of black, so you gon' throw them away. Feel like I'm going insane, another night on the floor, and you watch me crying in pain. Please, you'll never fight the war on my brain. I got these abstract melodies I can't even sing. I'll take another pill, and I'll sip another drink, and I wonder why none of it ever makes me feel like pain. Don't call the doctor, I'm doing fine. I got my own prescription, whiskey and wine. Oh, what's on my mind? Picture every color stone. Don't call the doctor. I'm doing fine. I got my own prescription. Whiskey and wine. Let me give a demonstration. Oh, what's on my mind? Picture every color stone in black and white. Drive me down, fit me to the mold, but I'm breaking out before I lose my soul. Tell me how you thought this would bring you gold. You could break me into pieces, but the pieces can't be so. Oh, 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 yeah. Not a beggar, I'm a chooser, I'm the leader of the pack. Hey, you could try to swim me up, but I'll bounce right back. You could keep throwing stones, but these bones won't. I'm just trying to keep it real, but that's not how you feel. Always all up comparisons. I reinvent the wheel. If I have to cut this off to go, then I guess I will. Oh, well. They told me I would be a loser. Who am I to prove them wrong? 
they said Button down, hair back, chin up, eyes straight Stick to what is on your plate Just trying to keep it real, but that's not how you feel Always got up comparisons, I reinvent the wheel If I have to cut this off to grow, then I guess I will Thank you again to Holden. We'll sit down with them for an interview in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. This is our 11th annual Bravathon. Welcome back to Bravathon. I'm Alec Roman. And I'm CJ Von Essen. And we're back with Holden, who just played a crazy, crazy good set out there for us. So I want to start off with this question. I really dig the second and third songs was Civil War and Ashes. Mm. I love the dichotomy between the two, because mm -hmm. Civil War I felt was such a heavy drum song. It felt like you had a double bass pedal going in the background and everything. <laughs> and then Ashes hit this like really nice pop note with, I think that was a cowbell? I don't know, some yeah. sort of plastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what is that like for you writing that you have such this free range of things you can do? So, fun fact, Ashes is actually a song I did with a group of DJs. They're called 2DB. They're from Jersey as well. Um, yeah, they're really, really talented dudes. They actually wrote the song, and they were like, we need you to come on and sing this song. And uh, they've given me free range to perform it whenever I want, so I just figured I'd bring it to you guys. And then Civil War was... That song took me, I want to say, maybe three and a half, four months to actually, like, get it right production-wise, vocals, lyrics, and everything. So that was a very like emotional and like very production-driven song. And you're doing that all by yourself as well? No, I worked with a guy, his name is Michael Spivak. He's super, super dope. He goes by the name Prospect Lux. If you guys have never heard of him, please Ooh. check him out. He does a bunch of like chill electronic stuff. So he and I work together really, really well. So uh, the genre of your music, you would mm -hmm. describe as dark pop, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Can you say any uh, major influences you have? Yeah. Um, actually, it would probably be Banks is probably the biggest influence. And uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Black Bear. Nah. I'd compare my sound somewhat to Black Bear. Okay. It's a really unique uh, sound, but I love it. Oh, thank you. It that's good awesome. to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so interesting that we, like, 
went in there thinking you were like, oh, it's gonna be kind of like yo, know, just drums and you singing. And then in that last song, Loser, you rapped. Yeah. I mean, that was insane. <laughs> Can we talk about that da, for a second? Da, 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 da. <laughs> what was it like? Did some was rapping something that you always wanted to put into that song, or did it just come naturally? That's a feature. So that's my friend Marco. Actually, if you listen to the track, like under my voice, just in there, he his voice is on the track. And I'm like, I'm not just gonna stand there. And I know all the words, so if I could spit it out, I can spit it out. And I, I think not? I think I might have spit it out. I, I that, not a might have, absolutely. <laughs> so do you not normally do that part of the song? Uh, I try to do it as as often as I can. Yeah. It depends on how much I'm moving on stage because he told me when he recorded that he only took one breath, and it was pretty much a freestyle for him. That's incredible. I wasn't there when he actually did the verse. And he hit me up, he was like, yo, like, I actually, because I asked him about breathing through it, because I was trying to learn it. And he was like, yeah, no, I only breathed one time. And I was like, well, I will be breathing way more <laughs> than one time. Of course, yeah. we're going to have to put some breaths into it. <laughs> De definitely. Um, so you talk, we talked about previously how you live, you're from Brooklyn, and your drummer's from Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult for you guys to kind of get together and practice all this stuff, or you guys practice all the time and just kind of go for it? No, um, we've practiced, like, we practice when we feel we absolutely need to, like, go over something new or whatever. We try to keep the set somewhat the same. Once we have all the songs down, we could kind of rearrange however we want, but we're pretty well rehearsed. And how did you two uh, meet? To be honest with you, I, I don't even remember. I've known Chris for, I'd say, seven or eight years, mm. and we've always been, like, acquaintances through music, but I can't... I've been thinking about this a lot, yeah. actually, <laughs> recently, and I'm like, how did I meet Chris? I'm like, it must have been at a show or something, but I don't know, I hit him up one day, and I was like, man, I need a drummer, and he's like, I got you. And it's been <laughs> you two ever since? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. So when... Let's talk about a little bit, like, you wrote all those songs with, mm -hmm. with producers and with Chris as well. What is a pro typical process for you writing-wise? Where do you kind of start? Oh, man. It's different every single time. Like, Loser, I was working at an ad agency in Philadelphia when I wrote Loser. And, like, I was sitting at my desk, you know, like, professional and corporate. I know it doesn't look that way. Which is hat. <laughs> but I was. And um, my boss wasn't in the room, so I pulled up GarageBand on my work computer and I wrote the little like in garage band on the strings and I had a melody in my head and uh, I had like five minutes before a conference call and I went into the bathroom with my laptop and I pressed record and I sang the hook <laughs> <laughs> and I brought it to a producer and I was like I actually produced around it a little bit more and then I brought it and I was like yo like I recorded this in my work bathroom like let me know what you think like two days later we banged out the whole song wow. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. I really like the Civil War song. Yeah. And you said it's not it's, out yet. Yeah, you said it's unreleased. That's coming this summer. How new Ooh. is the song? Uh, we started working on it last summer. And it wow. just so got finalized because I'm super, super picky, especially with like my new stuff. I want everything to be like above my own standards. Of course. So when I got the final back, I was like, this is it. This is the one. <laughs> Where can we find you and uh, Civil War when it does come out? Well, you can find me wherever it is on the internet. Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, the whole nine streaming. Um, on Instagram, it's at she is Holden. Twitter, same thing. Facebook, same thing. Wow. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Well, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. One last time, we want to thank Holden for joining us. Coming up next is Stereo Joe. This is Braveathon on Brave New Radio and WPTV. You are watching WPTV.